Good morning everyone uh, from uh, Caserta uh, near Naples. Uh, this is uh, Giannini, one of the uh, greatest uh, bike stores uh, in the whole uh, province of uh, Naples and Caserta. And uh, we are starting our journey for the Italian uh, Olympic uh, No Draft uh, Championship. So we're going to race tomorrow. And uh, the journey has started with a little problem because uh, my friend's uh, bike, uh, Andrew's bike, uh, has uh, a problem uh, with uh, rear gears. This was uh, a taste of the landscape uh, we will be going through shortly. We are in uh, Franciacorta. Franciacorta is an area in uh, region Lombardy, at the heart of the production of uh, Prosecco and uh, high-quality Italian sparkly wine. This is uh, the starting list uh, of the race and it's uh, one of the few things uh, you need to do immediately if you want to pick up your bib. you got to find your number. So, getting ready for the race, so what's your name? My name is Michele. Where are you from? Uh, I live in Milano, but I'm from Sicily, Messina. I could hear a uh, positive vibe and uh, a friendly voice, so Thank that's you. why I chose you to uh, do the interview. Are you ready for the race? Yeah, well, uh, I mean, we are always ready, even though we sometimes forget something, but the most important thing is our passion, our heart, and uh, the love of the sport, the love of being healthy, and uh, really have fun with all the athletes like you. I noticed that your bib is 441, my yep. bib is a 521, which means that uh, you should be stronger than me, a better oh, no, athlete no, than no. me. No, no way. What is your uh, favorite sport so between uh, running, uh, cycling, and uh, swimming? Well, I would say cycling, but uh, as my, my coach used to say, um, I mean, it's a, it's, it's a combination, of course, of the three of, of them. So you need to be focused on the, from the swimming to the uh, cycling into the running. So you never uh, need to keep away the focus for, from the three uh, sports. And Actually, you need a lot of balance, don't you? Of course, and I take the opportunity, if you allow me, to say thank you to Jose uh, Brovic, our, our fantastic coach of Triadon Passione. Okay, what bicycle are you going to compete with? Uh, you mean what I have now? Or I have um, a Lapierre. I have a French bike, which is over there. Uh, yeah. But it's, I think it's not... Is it carbon fiber? Uh, yeah, I mean... I mean Osman! <laughs> Uh, is it uh, the best bike no, money can no. buy or is well, it just the average bike? I think it's the average bike and it's uh, like my, my boss uh, used to say at work, it's not the, the bike because it's a cyclist. The, the most important thing is not the, the bike but it's your heart and your legs. So it's just average bike to compete. Okay, and uh, have you ever competed in Iseo before? Yeah, 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 I've done a couple of Olympic, uh, a couple of sprints in Milan. Um, yeah, I think that's my fourth general uh, triathlon race, yeah. Okay, but not here in Iseo? Uh, no, first time here. First, first time, time here, okay. I think it's time to go. Late. Let's go, let's go. Right, so, see you later. I hope Cheers. to see you after the race. Definitely. What's your time gonna be? Last question. No, no way. Uh, no time, no time. Three no hours. Very, very Three hours. Lazy, lazy. 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 Okay, lazy. okay. Good luck, guys. Cheers. Thank you. This is uh, one of the most important uh, cars in the race. Uh, because it belongs to none other than uh, President Bianchi, the president of uh, the Italian uh, Triathlon Federation. Obviously, there are all kinds of uh, bikes and uh, triathlon apparel on sale here. So uh, here we have a Python uh, bike uh, with uh, what seem to be nice uh, vision wheels, uh, 35 millimeter wheels, and uh, a Shimano 105 uh, 11 gear group. This costs you 2,400 euros. Going uh, up market a little bit, we have a chrono bike, uh, always by Python. And uh, this one will set you back uh, 2,500 uh, euros without any wheels. 3,900 with the wheels, which means that the wheels are a hefty 1,400 euros. Here we have a mid-range uh, Python and uh, this mid-range Python uh, has uh, an Altegra uh, group 
with uh, Vision uh, wheels, always the 35 millis. Uh, Zafiro um, tires by Victoria, and the price is 2,800 euros. Here we have uh, my personal favorite. A uh, cross bike uh, or a bike for cyclocross. Italians uh, have always been uh, good at cyclocross. So uh, we have uh, just the one uh, crank set uh, in the middle of a bike and then uh, a SRAM arrival uh, of a back, disc brakes. Uh, it's aluminum and uh, this will set you back to 1,800 euros, but it will go up to 3,000 if you buy the carbon wheels. So this would be the ideal uh, gravel bike or the dream city bike. So uh, this guy uh, who is a technician kindly explained uh, that there is uh, a satellite uh, microchip that you can mount on your bike. It's uh, ever so small and uh, it will be your alarm in case uh, someone tries to steal the bike. This is uh, the transition zone. It's a wonderful scene to see so many beautiful bikes uh, all in a row. I need to identify my bike, uh, 521, uh, the exact place, uh, so I make no mistakes in the transition uh, from uh, swimming uh, to uh, cycling and then from cycling uh, to running. Carpets uh, everywhere, uh, good job uh, there are so many carpets because I can tell you it's so hot that you could uh, fry an egg on the tarmac. Non basta. Volevamo vedere la Laura ma eh, non la mette la memoria. Ah, ah, no, ha no, già preso la forza. Ah. Lui ha detto nuoto, forza correggerà. Il nuoto ma ah, non lo so, la bici riesce. Eh proprio. Eh, 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 certo, eh, certo. E poi c'è quel GM1 con il mica fuori. Friend of the race, Giovanni, how did your race go? Uh, it's a very good race, but uh, it's uh, very hard because uh, uh, 38 uh, kilometers uh, and 38 degrees Celsius. Yes. And uh, were you trained for it? Were you ready for it or not? I wasn't uh, ready because uh, I was out of training. Out <laughs> yes, of training. Yes. All right. See you next time. Hope it will be a success next time. See you next time and. Uh, Ciao everybody! Everyone is having a shower in the fountain after the race because it's so hot. So the race is over, the race is over and we couldn't stay for the prizes uh, because so we have a long long journey uh, back home to Naples. But anyway, uh, it was a very tough race as always uh, here in uh, Lake Iseo. This year it was even hotter than uh, in previous years. I clocked uh, 38 uh, degrees Celsius uh, from uh, my uh, bicycle computer and uh, these are the race uh, results. Sarzilla came on top of everyone in first position. His team uh, is Raschiani Pavese. Ciccarelli from Cesena Triathlon came in uh, in second position. However, um, He's uh, very, very good at swimming and also uh, bicycling. So uh, he came uh, into the transition zone uh, after the bike section in first position uh, with the two minutes uh, advantage uh, over um, his uh, direct adversary, but he lost his two minutes in running. Spinazze came in uh, third. For the women, uh, Ilaria Zane came in uh, first position. Uh, she is uh, from uh, team uh, DDS, uh, she dominated the race. Santi Maria came in uh, second. And uh, Mrs. Ingletto came in uh, third position. 
Santi Maria is uh, an ex-pro. Uh, she used to be part of uh, the police corps. So, um, an excellent uh, athlete uh, from uh, one past generation, but uh, still very competitive. My friend uh, Andrea Borsacchi was uh, having a successful race. He found um, a little bit of a wake from another swimmer, so he came in uh, ninth from the swimming part. Then uh, the bike part started, but uh, he was uh, kind of uh, let down by his bike because uh, the back wheel came loose, so he had to lose uh, something like uh, three minutes uh, setting it back. And then uh, in the run part, he had an excellent first lap. A second lap, uh, he became a little bit too tired. Third lap, uh, he came uh, out uh, strong again. I'm uh, kind of happy with uh, my own race, uh, but uh, I don't know my time yet. So, so far I'm happy in ignorance. Uh, I might actually be even happier or maybe disappointed uh, if uh, my time is uh, slower than last year.